The first section will discuss data analysis. Data analysis. Data analysis involves collecting, graphing, and interpreting real-world information. Data analysis is used in many different types of career fields. Types of graphs. Data can be displayed using frequency tables, line plots, histograms, box and whiskers plots, or stem and leaf plots. Frequency tables. A frequency table shows the number of times possible outcomes have occurred in an experiment. Tick marks are sometimes used to keep a running total of the occurrence of each outcome in a frequency table. For example, a frequency table and tick marks can be used to tally the number of votes each candidate for class president receives. Example, frequency table. Students in a class were asked to choose their favorite movie genre. Use the frequency table to determine which genre is least popular in the class. Solution The frequency table shows that comedy received 9 votes, science fiction received 7 votes, romance received 3 votes, and drama received 4 votes. The least popular genre is the one with the least votes. Therefore, romance movies are least popular in the class. Line Plots A line plot is a number line with markings used to show the frequency of different outcomes. The frequencies in a line plot are commonly denoted using X's. For example, a line plot with X's can be used to organize and count the different types of canned goods collected by a class. Example, line plot. Gregory has two blue shirts, five green shirts, and three red shirts. Graph this data on a line plot. Solution Draw a number line with three sections labeled blue, green, and red. Gregory has two blue shirts, so put two X's above blue. Gregory has five green shirts, so put five X's above green. Lastly, Gregory has three red shirts, so put three X's above red. Histograms A histogram is a bar graph of frequency values for a set of outcomes in an experiment. The height of each bar in a histogram represents the frequency of that outcome. For example, a histogram can be used to show the number of household pets students in a class have. Example, histogram. Create a histogram using the frequency table. Solution, create a histogram titled Favorite Fruit with sections labeled for apples, bananas, grapes, oranges, and strawberries. Apples received 9 votes, so the apple bar will have a frequency of 9. Bananas received 4 votes, so its bar will have a frequency of 4. Grapes received 7 votes, so the grape bar will have a frequency of 7. 
oranges received five votes, so its bar will have a frequency of five. Lastly, two people voted for strawberries, so that bar will have a frequency of two. Box and Whiskers Plots A box and whiskers plot is a graphical representation of numerical data using the extreme values and quartile values. To construct a box and whiskers plot, 1. Write the data in numerical order. 2. Plot the min, max, median, first, and third quartile values. 3. Draw a box around the median, first, and third quartile values. And 4. Draw lines connecting the min to the first quartile and the third quartile to the max. Example Box and Whiskers Plot The number of attempted shots for 11 basketball players in a game are 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 12, 14, 15, 18, and 20. Construct the related box and whiskers plot. Solution The numbers are already in numerical order. Draw a number line from 1 through at least 20 and title the plot Attempted Shots. Draw a vertical line above the minimum value of 4 and a line above the maximum value of 20. Draw lines at the median 7 and at the first and third quartiles 5 and 15 respectively. Draw a box around the median and the first and third quartiles. Draw a line from the first quartile to the min value and from the third quartile to the max value. Stem and Leaf Plots A stem and leaf plot displays the elements of a data set in a two-column table. The leaf is the last digit of a data item and is in the right column. The stem represents the digits to the left of the leaf and is in the left column. For example, given 835, 5 is the leaf and 83 is the stem. Separate the stem and the leaf with a vertical line. Example, stem and leaf plot. Write the numbers represented by the stem and leaf plot. Solution The stems represent the first part of each number, and the leaves represent the last digit. The first number in the data set is 67, because the stem is 6 and the leaf is 7. The numbers represented by this plot are 67, 68, 72, 75, 81, 83, 89, 96, and 100. Using graphs to persuade. Graphs can be used as a persuasive tool when paired with words. For example, to convince people to buy juice A over juice B, the results of a blind taste test could be graphed on a histogram to show most taste testers prefer juice A. Graphs in test questions. Interpreting data in graphs is commonly assessed on standardized tests. To answer a question on interpreting data, 1. Decide what type of graph is displayed. 2. Determine the subject of the graph by
by reading the titles and axis labels. 3. Understand how the scales of the graph increase. And 4. Answer the question. Common Test Questions Some common test questions involving interpreting data are 1. Choose the event that occurred the least or the most. 2. Find the frequency of a particular event. 3. Calculate the sum or difference of the frequencies of two events. And 4. Decide which event is least or most likely to occur. Example Using graphs the frequency table shows the results of a survey on favorite subject. How many more people chose science than English? Solution There were 16 votes for science and 13 votes for English. Therefore, science minus English equals 16 minus 13. Simplify to get three more people chose science than English.